Hi, I'm Lon Kiefer, also known as Doc, the Defender of Caregivers. I want to take just a moment to talk to you about a cognitive distortion or a stinking thinking process that we as caregivers use. Today, I want to talk to you about mental filtering, where you focus on a negative and you allow it to affect everything else you do. And I want to tell you about it by telling you about one of the most humiliating stories in the saddest day of my professional career. You know, when I was a frontline nurse, I was also going to graduate school. So I was always tired and I was broke as a joke. Well, one night at the end of my 3 to 11 shift, they came to me and said, Lon, we need you to work in the intensive care unit. So this appealed to my caregiver. It appealed to my ego and my wallet. It felt good to be wanted, so I said yes. And I walked in the intensive care unit and I knew I'd made a mistake. It was like walking into an arcade. There was bells and whistles and machines everywhere, ding, ding, ding. But a young kid would be excited. Me, I was scared because I knew I was over my head. I had three patients that I had to worry about. One was definitely going to die that night. I'm sorry, but it's true. Another one was definitely going to live. Good for them. The one in the middle, he was the one I had to worry about. Tonight was make or break for him. It was touch and go. So throughout the shift, as I'd walk by, he'd be sitting there watching TV. TV on one side of his bed, the monitor on the other. Ding, ding, ding. And I was always looking in every time I'd walk by. He got the notice that I was paying attention to him, too, because whenever I'd walk by, he'd go, still here. So after a while, you know, as the evening wore down, he went to sleep, and I was charting. Well, in the middle of the night, I went in to sit right next to him out of an abundance of caution and concern. I wanted to be right there. But you know what happened, don't you? I'm embarrassed to admit it, but I fell asleep. And I'm not talking about a cat nap. I'm talking about drool coming out of the side of my mouth. After a while, I woke up to hear what has got to be the most frightening sound you ever want to hear as a healthcare professional. It went kind of like this. E I said, oh my god, what have I done? What am I going to do? But then I figured I'm a professional. i got to go through the motions. So I call out the code. I start beating on the guy's chest. And just as soon as all the doctors start running in the room, I hear, this has been a test of the emergency broadcast system. And the patient sits up and he goes, what the heck are you doing? Well, folks, that's an example of mental filtering. Because I went in there assuming the negative, that everybody in there was on the edge of death. And here, when a very normal thing happened, I thought the worst. Now, here's a funny kicker at the end. This patient said to me one of the funniest things I've ever heard in my career. He said, I just checked on you five minutes ago, and you were resting comfortably. Now, isn't that wonderful? Let's not do mental filtering, and let's realize even the people we care for, they're looking out for us, too. My name's Lon Kiefer, also known as Doc, the Defender of Caregivers. Thank you for caring.